and uh, they're taking it quite seriously. They're, you know, people are calling for an investigation as to what these objects are. But, okay, so getting back to the uh, UFO technology, um, I know I don't want you to reveal anything that you can't reveal here, but I know that you've been in contact with certain three-letter agency people yes. uh, regarding this, and would you say that they take this topic very seriously? Yes, I would say from direct uh, communication, they take it seriously, at, the cer at least as, at certain levels. They're taking it seriously. Uh, yes, I mean, a representative appeared at this particular funding meeting, so that I take that as indication that they're taking it seriously, yeah. Right. They take it seriously. For whatever their reasons are, I don't know. <laughs> they take it seriously. Okay. So where do we go from here? What's what's next? What's what's? Well, I don't know if you're talking about this this particular, you know, the Gordon novel. Uh, yeah, the electromagnetic uh, approach. Uh, the next few weeks will tell us whether you know somebody's got to write a first check, and that's always the hardest thing. We're talking about twenty to a hundred million dollars, so we'll see what happens. To come uh, up with a working prototype. Yeah, within at least uh, there are certain benchmarks. Within a year, there'll be kind of scale models, toy models, right. flying actually flying, right. and within five years to actually have a, a man, manned craft, or at least a drone craft with, which can mount you know, we, weapon systems, things like that. Does this, does this the military can use. Do, does it's this definitely a military-related project, no question. Right, right. It's right. not, it's, you know. You know, there's been, there, the, there, there's, there's this popular urban, I don't want to call it a myth, but a, but a, but a popular urban legend uh, that the Nazis made some fundamental breakthroughs in propulsion technology towards the end of the war. Yeah. Does this have anything to do with what you are familiar with? with yeah, yeah. The, that? the Nazis certainly had very uh, exotic uh, conventional turbine technology in flying saucer type craft. I mean, I think there's. Very Vert, you mean vertical takeoff and landing? Yeah, vertical takeoff based. and landing that looked like discs. Right. Uh, but uh, whether or not they actually had what I would call anti gravity, which is manipulating the fabric of space, changing in time to uh, uh, counteract the Earth's gravitational field <clears throat> for flight, in which there are no G-forces felt in sharp turns by the crew and the equipment on board. Whether well, they had that, that I doubt very strongly, because uh, that's based on physics that really didn't exist back then, but physics since 1999, with the discovery of dark energy being 73% of the stuff in the universe, and also dark matter being 23% or so, roughly speaking, of the... Uh, stuff in the universe, then it's a whole uh, new ball game because now we can understand how advanced extraterrestrials can travel millions, thousands, hundreds of light years, whatever, uh, and get to us within, say, uh, a couple of minutes of their of their own time. Do you think those ships... Wormholes. Do you think, yeah, they're going, those ships are actually going through wormholes and they're yeah. popping out in our nearby vicinity yes. Yes. and then they're flying around in our atmosphere yes. in their ships. Yes. They're, not, they're not actually traversing those vast distances no. in their ships, right? No. no. Definitely not. That's impossible. Right, right. For any but, number of reasons. Yeah, for any number if you're of if you're a living being, living organism would be very difficult. Yeah, to shield that's, not, not, that's not what's happening. It's star. It's like Stargate SG one on television. That's pretty much how it works. Right. They're using Stargates and then they're flying around in our atmospheres with advanced propulsion. With advanced propulsion, maybe electro, maybe the kind of propulsion that we were, uh, the electromagnetic, electrogravitic type propulsion. Perhaps that sort of thing flying around in the atmosphere. All right. Have you heard? Have you heard anything, or any of the, the the folks that you've been associated with heard any of these rumors about uh, a completely black space program that is using such technologies already? Well, that's consistent. That subject did not at all come up at the meeting. Yeah, of course, of course. This is but, just. Uh, but it is consistent with certain information I got from some of my uh, covert intelligence sources. I can't reveal their right. ID. Yeah, that's right. possible. So if we if we actually had a parallel black navy, space navy, then these these vessels would probably be able to travel uh, all throughout the solar system. Well, okay, it could be that basically that SG one on television on Sci Fi Channel could be simply a description of what actually does exist. See, that's possible. Mm -hmm. And if that is the case, that's definitely extraterrestrial. Just as just it's reverse as, engineered Just as Close Encounters was ostensibly a description of actual, yes. uh, a yeah. fictionalized description a fictionalized version of actual being, yeah. events that, that that occurred. It's possible. I'm not saying I believe that to be the case. I don't know. 
It's within the realm of possibility. It's more probable now because of the discovery of dark energy by the cosmologists and the astrophysicists back in 1999. See, that really changes the probabilities of guessing because I don't have a high enough security clearance to know for a fact what we have and what we don't have. Okay, let's, let's just extrapolate here and, and assume that this technology is real. Yeah. Um, I, I assume it is real. It's a working what, hypothesis. What are, what, I, it's real. I, I, know, I, know, I know it's a little bit premature given that the theoretical work hasn't been completely fleshed out yet, but given the possibility or the, the reality of, of traversable wormhole stargates, uh, which would explain how these beings are getting here from wherever they're coming from, yeah. be it a parallel universe or another galaxy. Or even if from the future. Or, or back even from in the time. future back in time. What do you, do you have any inkling of how they're doing it from a from a phenomenological?